Hey guys, it's Janelle. Welcome back to the channel and happy New Year's Eve. As I'm filming this, it is actually New Year's Eve. So yeah, but if you're watching it after, I hope you guys had a great, uh, happy and safe New Year's celebration. Um, and if you're watching it after, welcome to the year 2020. Um, anyhow, I wanted to take some time to talk about my planner setup for the year 2020. I tried to make myself a little bit more organized than usual, but I also wanted to switch things up a bit. So we're we're gonna jump right in some of them I'm not too sure what I'm gonna use for but others I knew I know for sure what I want to use it for so the first one I'm gonna start with is the biggest one which is my happy planner this particular planner I is actually for 2019 <laughs> but I am trying to cover up as you can see the dates so that way I can go ahead and use it for this year um, so I only planned for up till the first. This is actually going to be my business planner. So I'm planning to use this to talk, uh, not talk, but to kind of get my ideas straight or to even, um, talk or, oh my gosh, flesh out ideas for new releases. But this is also stuff for, um, my YouTube channel and my blogs because I really want to get back into doing that. So there's all of this. And yeah, but like I said, I'm going to try to jivy or what what is it word MacGyver it so that way I can use it for this year. But as you can see, I covered up the dates for this week. So we'll see how that works. But the one thing I don't like about the happy planner is how difficult it is to close it because you are on this ring system, but I do like the fact that you can just add in inserts. Um, I do have a couple inserts that I kept in here from when I was going to add inserts to the store. So I have like my Instagram posts, I have my uh, month of posts, like so like ideas um, and all of that good stuff. And then I also have YouTube tracker and um, the some of the shop stuff and whatnot. So. Yeah, but anyhow, actually, you know, I should go back to releasing some of the things with those backgrounds, but we'll think of those <laughs> um, this year. So that's the first planner. I'm going to set that off to this. I don't have room. <laughs> So the next planner I have is my A5 rings. This is going to be my everything planner. Um, so I have different sections in here, but it's mainly a planner that I'm going to use to track my health, but also wedding stuff and as well as um, store stuff and blog posts, etc. So I have it split into section on this pocket or in this sections and in this pocket. I have a bunch of food stickers because like I said, I am planning to use it to track my health and my food and whatnot. So there's that. This is a, a principal from the Coffee Monsters Co. and Annie, Annie Plants. I got it free because I had a code from one of Helen's, I think it was her birthday bundle or the anniversary. I think it was the anniversary bundle. Um, so I had a code that I could allow me to download this for free. But this is just a look at what I'm tracking this week and I started off yesterday and I'm just making this section an overall list. If I have any days off coming up, I'll mark it here. Um, and just things to think about, like things that I need to plan out more, um, that section is there. And then this sticker is from one of the Me and My Big Ideas sticker books. And yeah, so this is kind of a sample of what I'm planning to do. I didn't finish it here. I need to add in my dinner. But other than that, um, so I'll do one for today, which is Tuesday. I like how this is set up. I think it's a great way for me to just kind of see how my meals are getting spaced out because there are times where I feel like I'm just eating too close to each other where I tell somebody, oh yeah, this is the time I eat breakfast. This is the time I eat lunch. They're like, wow, that's a lot of time in between where I think it's too close. Um, it's just, it'll help me keep me on track because I do have an issue with missing lunch a lot. Um, but yeah, so there's that and then the next section I have is this one that is with this cover that says and so the adventure begins and obviously I had to do that for my wedding and this is another principle from the Coffee Monsters Co and Annie Plans. Again, I was able to download it for free because I had a code from one of her boxes, but um, this one I'm just writing down like the big things that need to get done and then the smaller task in order to get that thing done if that makes sense <laughs> 
So there's that. And then I filled out some of this yesterday because I needed to really just flesh out some of these things so that way I know where I need to be. Um, so like the invitations, I've already test printed them today. I need to go out and do these three things. And then um, once I get the okay from my sister and my mom regarding the invites, I'll go ahead and print those out. And yeah, the next section is called Good Things Come to Those Who Hustle and it has this dashboard. And obviously that is my blog and my YouTube channel. So here I just have some blog ideas, the things that I need to do to get those done. And then um, it's using the same principle as you saw in the wedding portion. So yeah, there's that. So this is gonna be the A6. It has, or sorry, not A6, A5. And it has, again, all of these principles and it's gonna be my catch-all journal or catch-all planner. Eventually, once the wedding is done in June, I'll switch this out to something else, but I just figured that will keep me organized till then. So this will probably stay with me the most um, in my backpack just because it has a lot in here. The next one I have is my bullet journal. So my bullet journal, I went to a smaller bullet journal this year and I am going to be tracking not a whole lot of things just because I realized I'm not good at that. But this is an inspiration page that I did from Helen. She did her setup and I loved how this looked. So I still need to fill in the holidays and birthdays for the first six months of the year. And then I'll do the same for the last six months. However, September, I have a lot of birthdays so it might not necessarily fit in here um, I am still debating on whether or not I want to keep this student loan tracker in here I'm thinking about it but I might erase it and do something else on this page um, let me zoom in a little bit on this page here I went ahead and put in all the monthly bills that I know of and I'm just gonna mark down that I paid for them or at least check it off so that way I know that that's taken care of and I don't have to worry about it um, this was my monthly page for this month and it says the way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing and that is a quote from Walt Disney um, I was going to create a whole thing for this page like a whole cover but I wanted to keep it very simple. I didn't want to put myself under any pressure to have a page look a certain way for the beginning of the year. So there's that. And then this is my monthly calendar. So as you can see, I already just marked Happy New Year. Um, and then here, I want to do something that I did in my recollections planner where it was just like one happy thing a day. Um, but I don't know if I will do that. And then this die cut is from the Coffee Monsters Co. Uh, I think it was a freebie from some of something she had. But yeah, so I don't know what I want to do on this day. I do have to fill in a birth, a couple of birthdays because I have my auntie's birthday on the 2nd and then my sister's birthday on the 16th. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out what exactly I want to do with this. And then this is just a quick setup for Wednesday through Sunday. And then I don't know how I want to flesh out the rest of the week. I don't know if I still want to go with like the little vertical layout or this horizontal layout so I'm gonna play around and test with it and we'll see what happens but I do like this smaller layout a lot I think it's gonna be more efficient for me so we'll see though how that works out but the bullet journal will encompass again everything it's gonna give me my overview of the day and it'll house a lot of just the little miscellaneous stuff where my A6 is more of an overview of my health but also like it's breaking down more into like certain certain tasks and things that need to get done if that makes sense so bullet journal is like the overview of the day the second thing that I have is this Print Pressions B6 Weekly, and I'm going to start it today. I'm actually going to back plan for yesterday, um, but I don't know exactly how I want to use it. I love my recollections, and I love being able to memory plan in it, but I feel sometimes it is too big for what I need it to do. So this is what the layout looks like. It is the weekly layout with the grids, so I might just use this for my actual memory planning um, just because I feel like it's small enough to house the information because sometimes I just feel like I am constantly trying to fill it with my recollections with just miscellaneous stuff because I don't want to use a ton of full boxes but I think this might be a good size for just regular simple memory planning but this is again from print impressions I got it in the pink and it got dirty because it's been in my backpack I've been trying to figure this one out the next one, 
um, is my A6 rings. I was inspired by Helen to get it. And because I am so indecisive, I had to draw everything out. So right now I have this set up as a personal section and this will just house like, you know, I feel like this will just house miscellaneous to-dos. Um, I went ahead and just did this layout. It's similar to one that I have from Annie Plans and the Coffee Monsters Co. But instead of just having this in like their grid, I have this, but then this will be my monthly or my daily breakout of the things that I've I did maybe things that I accomplished um, I'm not too sure but I wanted to test out this smaller size and see how I liked it and then I also designed a similar thing that is in my a6 I was gonna use it to keep track of like my gym and my health stuff but I decided to maybe not I don't know I'm still planning around so <laughs> we'll see what this actually becomes used for I actually might use it for a lot of my business planning so there's that it's an a6 rings and last but not least is my Hobonichi Techo. And this, as I zoom in a little more, this is a teeny tiny baby. Um, I forgot what size it was, but this is going to be used for my memory keeping. So I'm planning to do a picture a day. And by that, I am just going to print out a picture from my sprocket and put it in here and kind of just write about the day and use this as a, like a time to reflect. The monthly sections here, I'm going to put maybe like a quote or something that I wanna reflect on. Um, for January, it's gonna be my mantra, which is gonna be just do it and also fight for myself. And so that will be here. But like I said, I think I might just use this as a like a highlight of the day thing and I hope I can stick to it because I would love to be able to look back um, at the end of the year to see how far we've come. I know that, you know, in June um, it's going to have the wedding so that's going to be really exciting. So we're getting married on June 20th so it's going to have that the wedding is going to be in there but other than that I'm excited to see if I, I'm hoping I can keep this up but yeah that is my little it's not really a planner i guess you can call it a journal so these are my planners for the year i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what planners you guys are using for the year what you're choosing them for i would love to know also if you have an instagram page go ahead and link it because i'm always looking for inspiration regarding planners and stuff um i just i am really excited to start this year i am excited for this new fresh start it is a year that i actually feel really good about going into which is a first for me so i'm hoping that this coming upcoming year will just be filled with you know me achieving my goals and being able to do to make a living off of my store and be just being a content creator so i'm gonna work towards that and i hope you guys will join me on this journey thank you guys so much again for watching and um go ahead and follow me on instagram if you'd like i have two simple magical living and aloha planner station and that is it until my next video i'll see you guys later bye